Hello and welcome to Flavortown. My name is Cody and let's get on the server. There's no one on right now. I half expected to get on the server and find that I'd been pranked. But I guess not. And I found out some information about what this pillar was supposed to be. I guess Arctic had gone to gift me the dragon egg. But then I guess someone stole the dragon egg. So I... I don't know where the uh, egg is, but that's what this was supposed to be. So, I appreciate the gesture. Um, I'll pick up that quartz in a second. So, in all honesty, I don't really know what my plan is uh, for today on the server. I think I'm just going to make it up as I go along. But I'm coming back to uh, Bub Space for one reason in particular. I think it's this floor. It's this floor. The Energizer, I looked up what it does. Basically, if you have something that needs RF, like a drill, um, you can put it in there and it'll take the power. I don't have a drill, and I don't know that Bup has one, but it is possible. He's got a lot of canola. It is possible that he has a drill, and so I don't really need an empowerer just yet but I did look into it it has nothing to do with armor I was just being stupid and misusing it so I've learned that much uh, since I've been on it doesn't really seem like anything new has happened um, everyone's been pretty busy so I don't expect to find a whole lot of stuff um, that's been changed you know there is one thing that we could do today that could be kind of fun um, getting a beacon Unless, is there other uses for the nether star? Probably. You can make a magical snow globe. An entire world contained within a small glass globe. Perhaps our universe is not so different. Uh, to activate the globe, uh, it must travel to any seven of the following biome types. Wow, okay. Um... Cool, I don't think we're going to be making that. Dragon Egg Mill, Nether Star Generator. That could be a good use for uh, Nether Stars actually is generating power. Nether Star on toast. You can eat it. Why am I not surprised? Okay, well, anyways, I think I'm going to do is fight the Wither today, and I, I think I want to make a beacon. And rather than going to the fortress and fighting... Wither skeletons. I figured. Let me get out of the way. Right. <laughs> okay. Love it. No. Okay. I just figured I'd sit here for a bit until I got all the uh, skulls I needed. Because this is a lot better than having to fight a bunch of wither skeletons. I need to get one of these trophies for myself. He's got an energizer too. I wonder if you could connect this to a mechanical user and have it automatically farm skulls for you. That could be something. Actually, I wonder if that's something that uh, Firepotamus has already set up. Because he's got all sorts of crazy farms over there at uh, his... Uh, his base right now so it, it wouldn't surprise me if he has one um, I think he has it set up so it automatically kills the wither for him and he doesn't have to do any of the fight himself I don't know also since the last video I've adjusted the size of my face cam let me know what you think I accidentally clicked this and I don't know what I did Cool. I've only got one skull. This is super inefficient. I didn't realize how long this takes. Actually, I'm going to go check something. I'm going to see if Firepotamus has automated that system. I think this is his uh, Wither Skeleton Farm. I don't know how any of it works. What I do know is I'm one skull away from fighting the Wither myself.
So we're back here. I guess we're clicking for a bit more. You know, at this rate, I'm only one skull away. Maybe if I go to the nether to do it, I can get one of those trophies for myself. And maybe I can find a way to automate the trophy. And I guess Firepotamus hasn't automated the trophy because he doesn't need to. He literally has a spawner for wither skeletons. He does have a lot of trophies, but I don't feel like I should uh, take them. Also, who is farming skeletons here in the nether? Just regular skeletons. I love to know why and who. I needed to come to the nether anyways to get some soul sand. Oh, wow. You don't do as much damage anymore. Oh, I can just one shot him with my bow. Oh. I remember when you guys used to be like the worst to deal with. And now I just one shot. Oh, I'm too strong. This is so cool. Honestly, right now, the normal blazes are more annoying than the uh, blazing juggernauts, which is not normally the case. I'm not seeing any wither skeletons at all, and I've searched quite a bit of the fortress looking for them, so I may have to search elsewhere. Uh, there's there's a wither skeleton. Oh. That was stupid of me. Gotta love flight and having an extra heart. Or half a heart. I'm not even taking, like, much damage. It's just the fact that it's annoying, you know? Like, I'm not worried I'm gonna die here. It's just... Irritating. Please stop, you're bothering me. Much, much later. There they are. Ow. Okay, I guess not. I do have looting, yeah. No, I don't have looting. Oh. That's the one thing my sword doesn't have. I could have sworn I had looting. Well, I'm kind of amazed by that. I thought my sword had looting. You learn something new every day. Oh, they're immune when they're like that. Okay, good to know. Okay, well, in that case, then I will just you know, get the skulls through the trophies. However, I bond them here. I still need to get the soul sand. So what am I going to throw out? Uh, glowstone, I'm not so worried about. Hmm. This is one thick, so I'll just do it while in the air. Now, I don't particularly know why I need a beacon, because pretty much invulnerable as is. But, hey, it's going to be cool. It's just to have. I mean, who doesn't like lasers that shoot up into the sky, right? I could have sworn I had looting, but I guess not. So not all of that time in the nether was wasted, though, because I did need the soul sand. So, I don't know. Ooh, lag spike. It just wasn't ideally used, I don't think. Now, here we go. You know, I'm gonna put these skulls right there so we can actually see it when it ticks up. I really hope it doesn't have to be with an open hand. I don't remember if earlier when I was clicking if I used an open hand or not. I'm starting to think that uh, Levi's Wither Skeleton Trophy is cursed. So we're gonna go take our business elsewhere. Oh god, I hate the rain because of artifact and reasons. Um, here we go. And we are going to... That's still making a lot of unnecessary noise. Great. Um, yeah, we're going to use the trophy here. Okay. Listen, I'm tired of waiting. I owe you one, Firepotamus, if you see this. Uh, if, you, if, if you need anything from my base, let me know. And Or you don't even need to let me know. 
say you need some diamonds. Whatever you deem appropriate for the wither skull I just took. That payment is acceptable. I guess we're fighting the wither outside in the desert to avoid annoying rain. I think I'm going to fight it over here. Near the village. Where all these people can get terrorized. Right. Inventory is not super empty. Here we go. And if you remember from a previous episode, uh, mob griefing isn't on. Um, so that's why. I, and I don't want to cheese this. Like, I, I don't want to, like, do it underground or anything. I want to be as fair as possible, even though I do have an incredibly overpowered bow. Oh yeah, because we can both fight the wither. Uh, and I'm just gonna continue to go up and up and up. I think the wither is the only thing that's been able to actually do damage to me in this video. Like, significant damage. That's it, that's the wither fight. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Okay. That was the wither fight. Anticlimactic, I know. Let's go and make a beacon. Woo! Lasers. <laughs> um, yes, I plan to make a max level beacon. And I don't plan to do it out of anything too expensive. Just a lot of iron. Maybe a mix of iron and gold. I don't know. It depends on how much I have in my... Uh, Resources. Lasers seem to be something I play with a lot in this series. First with the laser ore printing and then powering my kitchen with lasers. And now I'm going to have a giant laser that shoots into the sky. Isn't that lovely? Also, I was just thinking about this. Didn't I eat the cake Firepotamus gave me or did I just leave it untouched? I don't really remember. But if I did, then there's a new cake here and I haven't noticed it right here is where I want to have the beacon laser. So I'm gonna do a stupid, potentially. I'm gonna mine straight up. Cool, not as stupid as I thought it would be. And this is where it comes out. I didn't die in the process of mining that. Um, that's where the laser's gonna go for the beacon, which I need to make. First of all, I need some glass. Does auto smell? Even if it's the wrong tool work, it does. Beautiful. Where did I come out of? Right here. This is the hole. Right. Y11. Y11. Okay. Then this is where I'm going to make the glass. I hear explosives. Don't like that. I know I'm using a pickaxe on sand and it looks really stupid, but I've auto smelt on the pickaxe and it saves me time that the furnace would normally take. And I just tossed my pickaxe on the ground like an idiot. Ignore that. Okay. This is kind of important if we're going to have a beacon. Honestly, I don't know how many blocks it takes to make a max tier beacon off the top of my head. So I'm just going for as much iron as I can. Okay. Right here where this pile of items is. This is where the beacon laser is going to go. So actually, let's clear out the area. Really efficient tool for that called vein miner. Okay, so now that I've cleared this area out rather quickly, that's where the hole is. Um, I'm going to say that about there's where I want the beacon to go. Um, I don't know. Let's get started. Well, this will make it shoot off, right? How many layers are there? So, okay. Yeah, that's about the right size. I have laid this out correctly, right? Because it goes up to a 9x9. Nine nine. actually don't think I've got enough iron for this. I underestimated just what it would take. 
Wow. Well, time to see what I can do. That takes way more iron than I expected. It, it's been a... I don't know, it hasn't really been a long time since I've made a beacon necessarily. It's just... I don't, off the top of my head, know how much iron it takes. It's, it's just not something I think of. Time to repurpose what iron I have. Could you imagine how big of a flex it would be to do this out of diamond or in the newer versions of Minecraft, netherite? Yeah. That's a, that's a power move. I don't think 22... Oh, I don't think 22 is going to get us very far. But yeah, I'm going to quickly put it down anyways and then... We'll see what I can do to get more iron. Well, we finished off that layer. There's one more layer left to go. And I'm actually going to do more clearing uh, so that I can actually see where I'm building. Okay, what am I going to do to get the little bit of iron I need to finish this off? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my pickaxe to uh, open up some areas. And hope that I find some iron. Hey, some iron. Okay, let's see how many more blocks I can make. Two more whole blocks. And I just tossed the iron I had. Rest in peace, my pickaxe durability. I mean, I could use the gold, but I really don't want to uh, mix match. I mean, if I use the gold, this thing could be done. I could have it built already. But I've committed to making it uniform. Iron! Hey! There we go. A little closer to our goals. And while this is happening, the laser is running and generating some iron. You know, let's quickly make the blocks I can make. And then check on the laser and see what it's got going for it. What don't I need? Oh, I forgot that those things spawn in lava. I'll deal with that in a second. I don't need the coal. Hello there. Hello there. Okay. Literally no more iron has been made. I'm going to repair my pickaxe soon. You know, let's go back underground and see if we can find more iron. Oh, there's literally some right there that I just missed. Time to repair my pickaxe because I don't want it to break. And then we can check to see how much iron we've gotten in the laser system. Three. Okay. Laser's a little slow, I know. But it sure beats having to actually find things yourself. And if you let it run overnight, which I've been doing, it gets a lot of resources. And, you know, it also runs whenever other people are on the server and, you know. And I am aware I can mix and match with what materials I build the beacon out of. But, no, I, I decided I wanted the whole beacon to, you know, match and not be all mixed match. And now here I am looking for iron, which is a resource I really didn't think I'd be needing to look for today. Oh, uh, I guess this must be a slime chunk. Cool. Not that slime is very hard to come, but oh, someone's been here. Damn! I was really wanting to explore that and exploit it, and someone broke the spawner. They could have probably used that. I'm just saying. So why do I want to uh, make this beacon in the first place? Simply because no one else has done it. That's the entirety of why I want to do it. I think it's pretty cool. Later that night. So after many hours of work, or at least, yeah, it feels like hours. Yeah. Um, the last block has been placed to complete our beacon. Okay. So now that that's been done, it is time to get haste to... Is it haste 2? 
<laughs> yes. So check this out. Oh, maybe I have to sit. Yeah, I have to. I, have to, I can't do it while flying. But as long as you're not flying, you can insta mine. Which I don't know what good that really does us, because you know, vein miner. But uh, shut up. It's a beacon, and it took me longer than I thought it would take me to get to this point. So, I'm actually really happy to see this, and I think that's going to do it for today's video. So, if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and subscribe. Hitting that bell icon would be much appreciated as well, and I will see you next time.